Westchester Collector, we're back with another episode of Toy Hunting with the Baileys. Sitting here to my right is the lovely. Hi, what's going on YouTube? What's going on? And once again, we have a whole bunch of toys to unwrap here. And I have this, a whole bag full of goodies to unwrap. This is a whole bag full of uh, things I got out of the mail, things I got from the Mid-Hudson Comic Con, and just varieties of different things. So um, yeah, we're going to unbox these things and I hope you like the episode. So let's go. Gonna start off with uh in fact I'm gonna start off with the with the bag of loot. I'm gonna start off with my bag that I got. Oh yeah, before I forget, if you haven't yet, please like, comment, and subscribe on the channel on this video right here to help us with this YouTube algorithm out to get the channel further out there. Like, comment, and subscribe. So I'm gonna try to do it. Like, comment, subscribe. There you go. Okay, in the bag of loot, I have a whole bunch of things. So I opened that up to make sure because some of it's from Macari, so you know you got to rate it. So this one's from Macari. His head's poking out. And this is Kaioken, Fig Yards, Son Goku. It's a whole lot of Fig Yards. It's about like nine, ten Fig Yards. That's, um, that's not Lounge Fly, right? Oh, this, is, this is Lounge Fly. This is a Gohan and Piccolo mini book bag. Yeah, I like the straps a lot. He came with all his parts and pieces. What's on the back? Oh, the Gohan and Piccolo on the back? It's just a little mini one. It's not it's a little itty bitty mini one, but it's cute though. I'm gonna open up the inside. Too. Kaioken. Goku, if you can see it. Stuff this thing Oh, it's cute in the inside too. There we go. The second one is Brawly. Grade 8, going on the grade 8 shelf up there. Can't get it open. Let's go. How am I get that on? I don't know how I'm supposed to get that on. It goes around his neck? Yeah. There we go. Got to do it very slowly, I think. Can't pull it up either, like you know. No, you can't. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that around his neck. No, I don't think so. But there you go. A little PVC brawly. I thought it was gonna be bigger, but it's alright. I don't know either because it doesn't stretch or nothing. Yeah, it doesn't. Oh, I forgot to turn this on too. There you go. He's fired. And this one they got, oh, they didn't give me, I thought they got me on, but I wasn't paying attention. This is what happens when you be ordering 3 a.m. in the morning. Package is horrible. Yeah, that's the package that came in with, that's for Sayuri, so. As for our daughter, she wanted a Figma, but they're $100, and I'm not gonna get a $100 figure for her to play with and destroy. That just doesn't make sense to me. But here goes, um, Golden Azaro. Put him right next to Broly. That's gonna go on the great each shelf also. There we go. He's nice though. Yeah, he comes with uh, this, but I'm not gonna pin him on the stand. He doesn't need to on the stand. No, I was gonna say he doesn't even need it. Getting on this thing perfectly fine. He's nice though. Now let's get to these uh, fig yards. I got a whole bunch of fig yards here. Whole bunch of fig yards. Like I said, I already pre opened some of these to make sure they was who they're supposed to be. And her legs came off. Her legs 
back on. This is SH Figure Arts number 18 is the girl or 17 is the girl. 18. 18 is the girl. Android 18. Yeah. Making a leg on. He's not that bad. Comes with a little Nezuko. There you go. Some effects. I like these faces too. That's a figure Android 18. I got that loose. I paid about, um, I paid way less than I was supposed to pay for her since I got it loose. That's what I like about loose figures. They might be a little loose because they're used, but I'm just posing them and pinning them up there on my collection anyway. So a loose figure for me is perfect. Here you go. Android 18. Take them down. This is Tanjiro. It's pretty tiny, but he's super cute though. They didn't even, they didn't the thing anyway. Sure. The piece that he's supposed to go on. So I'm gonna have to. He's nice though. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if his feet is gonna stand up there like that because it moves. But yeah. it comes with a stand too. Lots of hands. Let me see if he'll stand up. Faces of sex and a, a little Nezuko and two pieces, one half sword, the one that broke, and then this is uh, his full sword. That's nice. See if I can get him to stand up. Android 18. My next one is going to be Android 17. He came loose also. I got them both crossing the arms. I don't know if you can see that. You might zoom in a little bit. Jay, he's nice as well. This is my first Android 17. That's my second Android 18. I have one over there on the super shelf. Let's see if I can get him to stand. Sometimes they're hard to stand. Sometimes they're easy. Oops, I got him. There we go. This is a Tunzi. This is Tanjiro. The normal color. I don't know, they have normal color and they have cartoon colors. And I got this from Mid Hudson Comic Con from Dave. So if you're watching Dave, good looking. Oh, and they both fell. Hmm. Vegito. And then I just made Magic of edit. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Got him up there to stay now. Then we got, like I said, Vegito. I just said him before. How am I gonna pose him? I know I pose a lot of my figures like this, but I, I really do like to cross his arms. <laughs> I know it's lazy, but I really do like to cross his arms. It's just badass, I don't know. Huh. Nah, I'm not gonna do crossing arms for him. Yeah, put this 
Super Saiyan hair on him. That's what I like about figure arts. It's so easy just to do. That's Tanjiro. He's cute. Now I have all four of them. Yep. I have Tanjiro, Nezuko, Inosuke, and Zenitsu. I was just about to say, these things are so easy to put on. As soon as I said that, I couldn't put it on. <laughs> Fixing his glove, you know, the classic Vegeta pose. Yeah, that's nice. Came with different hair too. Mm -hmm. Next is going to be SH Figures trunks. Let me just pick this away. Manual. I don't want to lose any of the manuals. You know, for now, for for uh, here going on forward, I'm going to start buying a lot of loose figures. So you're going to start seeing a lot of loose figures on this channel because the price on these loose figures is just we can't beat them. Like you just can't beat the loose, the loose figure price and paying hundred and fifty dollars, two hundred dollars for a figure is just that's just that's just plain ridiculous. That's just I'm a father, I'm a husband. That's just that's, I can't do that. That's a lot. That adds up. That definitely adds up. But the loose figures that for forty dollars, I can do that. Um, I think I'm gonna post them in the blue. Yeah. Here we go. That's our future trunks. That's my first trunk uh, figures, actually. Growing up, trunks was always my favorite figure. Now, Vegeta is my favorite character I said figure but my always favorite my favorite character but now Vegeta's my favorite character. I know everyone loves Goku but Vegeta's my guy. There we go. 
holds them with the sword. I have a whole like section full of trunks up there. That's the, uh, the ghost boy, right? Since the last uh, toy opened until now, I've actually watched the whole Demon Slayer, so I know about it now. So yeah. it's you know, yeah, it's funny. Ah, I cannot get him to stay up. Oh, nothing. So by his feet, and sometimes you have to pose their feet differently too. Or have to stand in the park or something. There we go. Nice. Now when you have a sword in the back and then you can take that. I like that. Yeah, that's nice. I'm not going to pay him up there because he's going to fall. He's already hard enough to get the stand. Oh. Okay. Man down. Man down. Oh, this is Sabito. As I say, ghost boys. His knees doesn't really bend. I'm gonna have to. Stand yeah, I think they don't stand. Give me one second. I got a big one, one right here. No, I'll just take that. Um, you, you, want, you gotta put it together. Yeah. Yeah. So simple. That's what I love about the stands. Part out. Bam, see the magic of that is. It's nice though. I like the sword a lot. And like I said, this is a big bag of loot. So, another SH figure that this I got from uh, Dave also. And this is my guy. Oh, he's, he's wonderful. Mm. Super Saiyan Vegeta, he is nice. He's nice. Oh, I like him a lot. This is a figure on zero. This is Nezuko. This is Nezuko-chan, super cute. 
This is from the, the Spider Mountain. This is when she shrinks down and she's running away. Whose hands are those? Oh, Jesus. Thank you. Okay, the last one in here. This one might be my favorite out of all of them I picked up, besides Vegeta. I've been looking for him for so long. Oh, so long. Gohan, oh man, I've been looking for this Gohan for so long. Like I see him online, but they still want $120, $130. And that's just way too much for him. That's just way too much for him. Is that on Last but not least, I have Buzzmod Akaza. I'm very excited about opening him up. Yeah, a lot of people didn't get him yet. We got him quick. We got him. What did y'all DJ Khaled said? God did. demons and stuff because oh that's your first villain man right? yeah because all the other ones have been all you know good guys and they all come with like the little mats that they prey on and stuff you know what i'm talking about like how they have like the knees that they can bend and go on the mat so i was wondering what they were going to do with the villains i'm really happy that it actually has there we go his head didn't want to go on Thank you. 
There we go, and if you know, there we go. And if you know this pose, if you know Dragon Ball Z, you know that pose. Everyone got a pose to go on like that. When he was fighting Cell. That was it for the, uh, the bag of blue. He looks really buff right now. <laughs> he does look buff. Yeah, Jack. He looks super buff with the vest on. That looks crazy. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go to Super Saiyan 4, Son Goku. Look at his hair can move. Look at it. They did something with his hair. Oh, that's fire. I uh, guess if you want to turn him too, yeah. like you could turn his um his head and stuff like um his hair. That's tough. I like that. That's nice. Same for some good cool.
Effects. Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta. Obviously, the, the original, uh, the figure of Vegeta hadn't come out yet, but I was able to get this one from uh, China, Japan, one of them. I opened him up to see what he came, what he looked like when he came, and he looks amazing. I am impressed with this. Let me see if I can get closer for you to see him. Oh. Of course, I dropped it. Did you drop? Everybody, oh. almost. Everybody, almost. But yeah, he's nice. Seems like a Nobody wants to stand for it. There we go. Got both of them. This is the Buzz Mod Akaza. He has a lot of different things that come with him too. I just switched out his face. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this on him, the vest, because it makes me that he has no neck. So far, Akaza is my favorite demon. He's. I like, I, what's that other guy's name? Daka? Huh? What's that other guy's name? Daki? Daka? The brother. Oh, oh, and the. the the new, the new 
um, entertainment district? The one that just came out. Yeah, that's what the entertainment district, the new season, right? Yeah. You total? That's a girl, right? Daki. Yeah, girl Daki. I like her too. It's between Akaza and Daki for me. That's my favorite Demon Slayers that they've shown so far. Aye, aye, aye. Out of the demons. So Akaza's, all their backstories are really like sad, but Akaza's really sticks with me the most. And him as a demon, actually, I don't, this is, I know that this is only for manga, only people. Um, but in the manga, Akaza refuses to eat women. He only eats men, and there's a reason behind that. And I think that, to me, that still shows that he's like a little bit human. King Piccolo, Demonic Throne. I'm not getting to stand at all right now. I've already brought down the King Piccolo from my Dragon Ball shelf. I've been waiting for this for a long time. And he fits perfectly. Yeah, as soon as I move his toe, that's it. Then the tassel on it more. Well, see it. I like that. I like this a lot. Yeah, that's nice. I believe in uh, the cartoon, the original color was blue, but when I ordered it, the blue was sold out, so I figured it's better than nothing, right? Okay, just three more things for me. We're gonna open this. This is a demonical fit, because the original one, they still want 150 and above for him. And like I said, I am not spending that much money on a fig yard right now. That's just, I spent that on Broly and that was a mistake because I could have got it for way cheaper and I won't make that mistake again. Yeah, he's fire. Yeah, he's nice. Juice, 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 sir. Jace? Jace. Everything that we got for our daughter, she couldn't wait. She opened up everything. That's why she's in her room having a little party by herself right now. It's the week before school starts for her, so she is enjoying herself in her room, and I have no problem with that. She'd probably run out of here in a little bit just to run out here. If we're lucky, some days. Sometimes I don't even know. What's she doing? She be up in there all day. Just come out just to eat. <laughs> but she does like to draw. She loves to draw, actually. Yeah. Akaza, I'm about to just give up on you. There we go. Look, you made me want to give up on you, and then, you know... Mm, you. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna pose him a different way. I gotta look up his uh, dinghy force pose because everyone has their own special pose. I was gonna say it might be on the back of the box too. Um, I was looking up earlier, but it didn't have the pose that I wanted. Oh, okay. Because sometimes that's how I, I, honestly, when I was younger, some of mine's I will look at the boxes and I'll look at them the poses that they put on them and sometimes if I like them then I'll do those for all of my buzz mods. I don't think I'm gonna take him out. I got this also from the Comic Con. Super Saiyan Brawly. I don't think I'm gonna take him out of this uh, protector and everything. I'm just gonna keep him in here. I was gonna take him out but yeah I'm just gonna keep him in here. Maybe I'll put him up there. I was gonna put him over there but since I'm gonna keep him in here maybe I'll put him up there. I was gonna put him up. I'll put that right here for down one. It's gonna get out of here. 
Yeah, that's why it took me 25 minutes trying to pull it off of it. I got to use a stand for him too. Mm -hmm. I think his hair is what's making yeah, him. Yeah, it Because it's just hair. like Rengoku's cape. It is Because yeah. yeah. it's very heavy, not for nothing. That's one thing I don't like about him is his hair. Wild one, he can't take his hair off or nothing. He comes with another hair and a dragon ball. Another mullet? Yeah, I don't know what is going on with his hair. <laughs> it's like it's like a real mullet. <clears throat> and last but not least, another one of my guys, Vegeta superhero. Mm -hmm. This is from a new movie. Hold on, let me Sorry if this episode's a little longer. I like that chair a lot. Yeah, so do I. I've had that figure for almost a year now. Yeah, you've had it for a long time. I keep all my figure art boxes. And oh, he is so beautiful, man. This is my guy. This is, a, this is amazing. That's my guy, Vegeta. Yeah. And this Vegeta. We're gonna do like the box. <laughs> I like these new faces though. They're very easy to see more. They're like, I don't know, I just like them, see? I like the articulation. Yeah, yeah the articulation on them is a lot. I, I mean, but SH figure arts, like, the, their articulation has always been like top tier, but it's it's really getting crazy now. Like, look at, look at like, even like the definition, like, in his muscles, like, even like when you look at like his clothes, like the drapes, like the way that they draped it, it looks crazy. It looks yeah. like it's real, like it's moving. Rolly chain on him. <laughs> Let's see if I can get the last one to stand. No, and I definitely know I'm not gonna be able to get him to stand without without a stand. Yeah. Let's see if I can finagle something and get something. It's not, it's not gonna happen with him. Shit, this was our hole from the last couple of weeks from the mail days and everything and there you go it's a pretty big haul yeah definitely a pretty big haul well if you like this episode like comment and subscribe there you go <laughs> until next time keep hunting